loving how we took turn from AI, from technology and kind of hard skills to very soft skills, which yeah. every business should have the abundance of both sides. So let me bring millennials here. Okay. Those mm. who did not have bad managers, good managers, they're starting out or they're like kind of quite successful in what they are. You know, the attitude changed, completely changed. So mm. if the job is not for me, if the company is not fulfilling my needs, I am not going to study anything. I'm going to, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to learn anything. You know, so how do you see this working now? Because they are the future. So where is this talented managers and companies who really thriving because their people feel fulfilled? Look, the, 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 the millennials that came into the gig economy and mm -hmm. and how that has been affected also by COVID, which we won't go into now because that's all a different discussion. Uh, but uh, they can become good managers. They're going to have to go through the paces in order to get there, quite frankly, also. This is not something that you can just all of a sudden wake up one day and say, hey, I'm, I'm a great manager today and I can motivate people and I can get people you know, excited about coming to work today and doing something new and innovative and helping others. Uh, these, are, these are things that uh, I think are really learned over time. And, uh, you know, with that, uh, I think that we shouldn't paint millennials with a particular brush either. Like you noted, a lot of them are very successful in what they do. And that's okay also. Uh, this is about adopting uh, an opportunity for them to have mentors, just like I had a mentor. To wrap this up, to wrap this up, we know new generations will work differently, okay? We were different from generations previous to us, so it's not a disaster. This is life, right? In that sense, I'm seeing that companies have to adapt to keep that talent, right? You have to change your ways, don't yeah. you think? And what are the best ways we started again with AI? We started with emerging technologies. So where do we blend this again? hard te technology skills with good, good practices and, and just building businesses this way. Mm -hmm. Well, when we look at it and, and try and put a bow around it and wrap this up and say, how do we do that? How do we bring in uh, great skill sets? How do we bring in uh, diversity? How do we bring in millennials? And how do we bring in uh, the types of solutions that we ultimately want to build that we may need to teach the skills for. And that's the key. We have to understand that we may need to teach this stuff. And we may need to put programs in place that allow us to do just that, that allow us programs such as certificate learning that can be sponsored by universities where they don't have to change their curriculums, by the way, but they can certainly sponsor those certificate programs where we can bring people in. Who's we? All of us. We're all contributing to this, to filling the talent gap, to this problem. And if we have resources, one of my views is that I can bring people uh, that are part of my organization, that may be part of my data science organization in other parts of the world, and bring them here for periods to teach certificate programs. Now, that's only one idea, one solution. The other is, as we start to move forward here and put together economic development commissions as part of my role at the World Business Angels Investment Forum, which is a relationship with the G20, is the opportunity to not only put together learning programs, but get government behind this as well and do it on a state by state basis. So we lay it down, for instance, in Florida. And we use that as a template and we have uh, not only academia involved, but we have government involved and we have funders involved and we're funding these types of programs so that we can teach people. And I think that that realization is the most important one to take away, because unless we have the view that we will teach it, I'm not too sure we're going to get it anywhere else. And I'm not too sure that people really want people learning on the job either. 
That's a good wrap up for our conversation, Terence. Thank you so much. So if you need volunteers, if you need any help, I'm happy to be involved because frankly, you're not just talking the talk, you're taking steps and yes, you know, yeah, we, we can help. You know, there are lots of technologists out there. There are lots of like good willing people who understand the problem, who understand the yes. problem. So hopefully with this talk, We'll do something together with that and just spreading, yeah, the spreading the knowledge that, hey, there is small steps. I hear yeah. boot camps. I hear yes. technology boot camps. Very successful. I know a few young people who are after college right now refocusing and feeling mm -hmm. very excited about these new opportunities. Thank I'd you, love Terry. to hear that. I'd love to hear it. And thank you for talking to me about it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs>